Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to condense logarithmic expressions. Condense log base 10 of h plus p log base 10 of 4 minus log base 10 of y. You'll notice I put a base 10 there because it's the common log, and even though nothing's down here, we know that it is an implied 10 for each of these. And the most important thing is that they all match. All of those are base 10, so we can go ahead and combine them. Let's go ahead and start with the first one, or the middle one, because we have a p out in front. This is the power rule, meaning that I can roll it back up into the exponent of the number for the logarithm. So I end up with log base 10 of h plus log base 10 of 4, and rolling the exponent back up there with the power rule makes it 4 to the p minus log of y. Now we can go ahead and continue to condense using the product rule for the addition and the quotient rule for the subtraction. Let's go ahead and do our condensing of the first two first. So we end up with log and we keep the same base of 10 and because it's addition, we will go ahead and multiply h and four raised to the p. And we still have log of y. Now we can continue to condense this is a subtraction sign here, which tells us that it was from the quotient rule, and that means that we will divide our numbers here and here. We will take the first one, and it is the numerator, and where the subtraction goes to makes this the denominator. So we end up with a log with the same base of 10 of h times 4 raised to the p over the number from the other one, which is y. And I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around all of that so that we can see that it's all inside the logarithm. And now we've condensed our whole expression, and now we're all done.